What a day. I know. We have to talk about it. We've been rehashing and hashing, so we have to rehash some more. So this is an example of what can happen when you're camping and you don't know what can happen. That didn't make sense. No, it made a lot of sense. So we're riding our bikes around Costa Noa. Costa Noa Campground, north Campground. of Santa Cruz. It, you know, it, we were just on a normal little, you know, bike ride. And we stop and see this guy who has this amazing rig. It's this beautiful bus kind of camper. And it was gorgeous. And he has this big smile. And we just start talking to him. Friendest guy in the world. Uh, we just wanted to look at his motorhome, but uh, <laughs> he just started talking. And next thing you know, he says he's the father of an Indy car driver that's going to be racing at Laguna Seca this weekend. We're like, oh, we have a friend that's going to be over there. We thought about it, but we just didn't get our act together in order to camp there. We just wanted to camp and get away from the heat in the, in the valley and come out to the coast and just stay cool. And next thing you know, this guy says, no, you should come. I'll get you all access passes and you guys can come in the pits and hang out with me. This uh, is so cool. <laughs> he says his name is Henry. Henry talks a lot. Because uh, everyone talks says lot, he Tom. talks too much. But it's so incredible. He has this really heavy accent, lived here for 30 years. But he says that I like my accent, so uh, you know I'm not getting rid of it. He's from Lithuania. Although we're trying to understand him, but eventually you get it. And he treated us like royalty. <laughs> I mean, we had full-on uh, credentials. We it were shirts. hanging out in the pit, looking for our pit. <laughs> Where are we heading? We're just in the pits for David and Lucas. He runs to one of the um, race car camper things, buses or whatever, to get us hats. And then as his son's done practicing, has him sign them for us and everything and take pictures. Like he doesn't have a million other things to do. That's David Malukas, right? David Malukas. Malukas number 18. Number 18. He's a, he's a rookie, 20 years old. Great kid. He's really serious about his racing. But in this track, the limit is so thin, and as soon as you go over it, you know, you, you drop your tire in the dust, and now the next two laps are done. So with the way the gaps were, and then Erickson causing the yellow and, and those laps being deleted, we really only had one lap. So it's a little bit on the conservative side. I wanted to make sure we at least got something in, and you know we're not at the, at the bottom of the table of the Fast 12s. So we're looking forward to seeing the race on Sunday. Today's Friday. We went to practice sessions. Tomorrow's qualifying. And uh, so we're heading home so we can watch... Uh, the race on TV. Yeah. But, but this is just an example of you never know what's going to happen. Keep your mind open to possibilities and say hi to people and you never know. And this guy treated us like we were family and we had the best time. It was so overwhelmingly bitching. We have a new best friend. We have a new best friend.